What's up gang, it's Ryan here from Ruck Top Beer and today we are taking a look at the GORUCK M23 Heritage Edition. Uh, now we've taken a look at a number of Heritage Rucks from GORUCK in the past. Uh, we'll link to some of those in the video here. Uh, and So you'll know that we are a fan of the Heritage. The duck wax canvas just is a classic look. It's uh, an incredibly durable material. And it's one of those bags that just over time just gets looks better and better as you start to uh, let it wear down. In fact, my number one favorite ruck, I don't even know if I can say that, but one of my most frequently used rucks is my um, 15 liter Heritage Bullet Ruck, which is an amazing everyday carry. But recently, GORUCK released the M23 here in the wax canvas, and as a lover of all things dark oak, I went ahead and picked one of these up. Now, the M23 is an amazing ruck, and in this duck wax canvas here, uh, it is kind of next level. As I've taken a look at this ruck and spent some time with it, I really feel like it's an amazing travel ruck uh, because of you know that classic style. Um, along with the durability and just, you know, sometimes when you travel, you don't necessarily want a ruck that's, you know, covered in molly and patches and all this stuff. And so this has a much more classic look to it. Uh, I've got a buddy down in Florida who picked one of these up in the 21 liter for like a business ruck, like a little weekend business ruck. And um, I think that'll look really slick for him as well. So some of the things that uh, I love about the M23, and we kind of look through some of the features that it has. First off, these fit locks. Uh, if you saw my video review of the M23 ripstop, these are so much fun. Uh, certainly an incredible upgrade from the M22 with the little hook uh, closures that they had. But these things, these really nice little... Uh, just feels good as it pops off but what's even more fun is that it's magnetic so it just pops into place uh, making a really secure closure uh, kind of textured on the side so you can get a good grip on it but um, definitely a huge fan of these locks and you know just the small details of like the the, uh, the etching of the spearhead on the on the buckle it's just really really a nice touch uh, it does have a patch panel here. It comes with a nice little GORUCK leather patch. Always love the, the leather GORUCK patches. And as you can see, uh, this is the dark oak. And, and the, the molly for the straps, um, or the, the material for the straps, it's kind of an olive-ish green, um, which does, does look really good with, with the dark oak here. Once we flip the hood, what you'll see is a little bit more of that kind of, I would call this almost like a coyote green. Uh, maybe not a true coyote, but kind of a coyote green. Uh, for this top mesh pocket here, which is really great. It does not have a quick access pocket, which we know and love from many of the GORUCK bags. But this is pretty convenient to pop off these two and immediately have this vertical access into this mesh pocket here. In fact, there's even a little nice little key ring that sits in there that you can hook your keys to easily find them in whatever mess you throw in at the top of it. Unlike most GORUCKs, uh, GORUCK bags, this is a top loader and it has a kind of this extra little bit of material here so that if you really want to cram it in, uh, you can do that. It's got a little cinch top and then we can expand the front straps to cover that extra gear that you might pick up on your travels. On the inside, what you'll see is another mesh pocket here. Um, on both pockets, the interior zippers do have that nice high-vis orange, which makes it easy to find. And in here, you know, what is that, uh, eight inches, six, eight inches of a nice little mesh pocket. Below the pocket, and a little bit more difficult to see in this video, if you can see down in there. There is an elastic pocket pouch uh, in here as well, um, which you can use to kind of secure things in there. Normally, like on my bullet, uh, that's where I would store the laptop, but this 
as we'll see in a moment, does have a dedicated laptop space. So don't super need that for that. So whether it's fo uh, files or folders or something like that, easily stash those in there. So that's more or less all we got going on the inside. This particular version that I picked up is the 26 liter. Uh, if you follow me, you know I traditionally pick things up in the, uh, the 21 liter. I find that size to be super useful for every, almost everything. Really 26 liters I, I reserve more for travel, uh, uh, weekend trips, that sort of thing. Um, but when I saw this, already having a couple, I have an M22 and an M23 in the 21 liters, I was like, you know what, let's just go a little bit bigger. So I could see this being a really nice like uh, travel ruck, as I said earlier. On the exterior, we've got two little side zippers that you'll see here. Uh, if we open this one, mystery side uh, number one, what you're going to find is a pocket. This pocket um, is uh, like a nylon material, and it goes all the way across the front. So. This could be a really nice, you know, quick, quick grab pocket. Um, stuff that you need easy access to that you don't necessarily want in the main compartment of the bag or in one of these stash pockets. The one thing that I might say about that is, is I think about this as like a travel bag is that I wouldn't put anything super important there because I could definitely see like on, uh, you know, the subway or something like that, somebody just doing a real quick, uh, slide of their hand into your ruck without you maybe even noticing. So, you know, I'd, I'd use that pocket um, accordingly. But, it is a nice little extra storage space that's dedicated, easy to access, whatever you might throw in there. On this side of the ruck, we have another zip pocket, and if we check this one out, it's actually access to the interior of the M23 here. So if you know that you've got some stuff that you've got to find that you don't want to dig for through the top, there's a really easy access to get into the main compartment of the bag, which is nice. In addition to that, once we take a look towards the back side of this ruck, uh, we do have Molly on the shoulder straps, um, you know, that's fine. Uh, with, a, with a wax canvas, I might have been more inclined to go for uh, just a slick look, um, but people like their Molly on the shoulder straps, and, and I'm fine with that. It does come with a uh, uh, sternum strap, which, you know... If I was traveling or something like that, I'd probably ditch that. When we peel these back, what we can see is that we do have a dedicated laptop compartment here. Uh, it's a pretty nice size. I've got a MacBook Air that fits in here perfectly. Uh, I want to say that the website said that for the 26 liter, up to 16 inch laptops fit, but double check on the GoRuck website to ensure that you know exactly what size laptops will fit in there. But like all um, GoRuck laptop compartments, they are designed um, with a false bottom here so that as you set it down, you're not setting it down right on the edge of the computer, which is really nice. So that little false bottom there um, is nice. And then it does have a frame sheet, which is removable. It's got the easy Velcro here, so if you wanted a stiffer uh, frame sheet, or if you just want to lose it entirely and have the nice loose floppy feel, you could do that, which is, which is a nice little feature. Uh, two more pockets or compartments here. Uh, if we zip open this side right here, this is uh, actually on my M22, uh, 23 um, review. I couldn't quite figure out what was going on with this material. This side has like this stretchy material in here. Now, on the M22, there was actually a water bottle um, pocket that you could kind of sit a water bottle down into. And to go for a more streamlined look, uh, GoRuck put this um, stretchy material in here, and this is really to serve as the water bottle compartment. So that's where you would store that. And then when we come to the other side, from here, 
just kind of a standard pocket, but what I would really like about this pocket, it has pockets inside the pockets. So we've got just a main storage compartment here, but there are two little elastic um, uh, pockets where you could add small little things in as well. And this is a nice feature. Um, I like uh, little side access or vertical pockets or horizontal pockets like that that, you know, when I have my bag on, I can kind of swing it around. I kind of swing it or swing it around my shoulder on this side. Anyway, that I can get into these side pockets when whatever little goodies are hiding in there. So that's a pockets and pockets. About it. Um, laptop top compartment. Find a little, you know, little nice elegant feature of the M23 and just the heritage in general is, you know, you always got a little splash of leather. And so this top handle has that really nice uh, brown leather. Um, it's really just a covering on the top. The underside of the panel uh, of, of the handle is the, the wax canvas. And so the leather is just kind of stitched on top as an accent. But, you know, with all GORUCK uh, bags, that top handle is pretty, pretty solid, uh, substantial handle. It's got the nice box X stitching so that thing's not going anywhere no matter how much weight you put in there and swing around with. The back panel and the underside of the shoulder straps is the Kadura 210 material so uh, very slick non-abrasive material that um, is really really nice to have. And that is a quick and dirty look at the GORUCK M23 26 liter dark oak waxed canvas ruck. Um, it's a beautiful ruck. Um, if, you're, if you're a duck wax uh, canvas fan, uh, I highly recommend adding this to your collection or using it to be a great start for your collection. Potentially really great travel bag, uh, could be a daily carry, probably want to go with the smaller 21 liters if you're going that direction. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions about the GORUCK M23 Heritage Edition or you know, any of the other videos we put out, go ahead, drop it in the comments below. Happy to help out and try and answer those. And if you appreciate what we do here, we would love it if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you when the next backpack gets released.